immediately, you'll hear this cue a lot, spread the floor with your feet. Think of, of trying to pull the floor uh, apart. And that's going to allow these guys to get activated. They're going to go to work. They're not working hard yet, but they will, and, and they're prepped to do that. So from here, I'm going to start moving my hips back. And especially when I have a counterbalance, I'll, uh, a goblet squat, but even the front squat serves really nicely. And maybe we'll talk about that in a minute as a counterbalance. So we're going to have a bit more of a vertical shin angle than you might see in other squat variations. I'm going to move my hips back a bit. Now at this point, I am now thinking of dropping my ass. I'm thinking of pushing myself really down to the ground. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay? So once again, soft knees, getting this stable position, spreading the floor, getting the hips to move back first. And then, as you know, your, your knees are naturally going to flex because we're trying to move backwards, but we're also trying to get that ass to the ground. And somewhere around here, so I don't, if I've got a goblet uh, position dumbbell or, or kettlebell, or if I've got a, a barbell, I'm not really worried about driving my elbows up yet. I think of this as a, sort of an afterburner. So I'm going to move as far as I can without difficulty. And at some point, you're going to say, it's starting to get hard to move down. At that point, I'm going to imagine this is a fixed weight. There's something um, under an edifice or whatever is going to help with you, uh, you know, for you to visualize. And at that point, we're really going to drive ourselves down into that position. Okay. Before, so that comes back to the simply aim to do better. And the protein habit will evolve just like all your habits will evolve. Two is palm size portion-ish of protein every time I eat. Three is calculate, I'm going to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and I have this pretty number, and I'm going to strive to get it every day perfectly, or darn close to it. Kind of in my mind, that's kind of like nutritional one, nutritional two, nutritional three. So it might be beneficial for you is either to grab and go with one or two instead of three, because it's causing this conflict. And what habit might be more important to you for your goals, right? Because it's like, hmm, I was okay with protein before. I feel pretty well covered with protein, and now I'm making better choices. But I think I was probably either an overeater, an undereater, or I was an all or none girl, so I'd eat like really good and then blow it, and then not eat for a couple days to make up for it. So of those two habits, if you were to look at best strategies for you moving forward from a health perspective and body, and you know, all the things that you're trying to achieve here, which of those two habits do you think would be more important for you to focus on and try and get a better relationship with that habit? Protein or 80% bulk? I don't know, because I'm a vegetarian, so I was really not eating a lot of protein. So, so it sounds like they're both important. They, they are, yeah. So a governing rule, we don't have any rules, but a governing guideline, it, we say that 80% is Trump, okay? And that's true, it's the 90-10 rule. That's true in most cases, but nothing is absolute or perfect for everybody in lean eating. So in this case, I would say 80% dominates. We don't want you feeling stuffed, right? We don't want you feeling like that you have to do something in order to be uh, getting your green check mark. So I would say let 80% dominate, because we want to get you to a place where you come to this place of being joy, satisfied, I feel nourished, but I don't feel stuck. And some of it might take, because you said, you know what, I think I've got there. You know, I've been trying so hard. The 80% of the full habit for us is only two days, uh, uh, about uh, two, two, three weeks. So some people, those of you who have done lean eating before, or have a great uh, experience with this, or graduates, 80% full. Easy? Did you nail it in two weeks? No. Two years? Um, no. Two decades? <laughs> Still working on it. Uh, honestly, 80% full is a lifelong thing to manage. We organized. We had spreadsheets and calculators and, you know, we were eating on the clock and, and we felt like, oh my God, it's been three hours. I'm going catabolic. Like, I would lose my mind in meetings, you know, when I was, in a, when I was a university professor. I'd be like, oh my god, I'd, I'd be freaking out, you know? Like, I could feel my cells dissolving, right? It's all very psychological. Um, that's not actually how it works. We have such a, pro you know, and we have been told, you have to, uh, if you wait until you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated and there's something terribly wrong with you. You cannot possibly be hungry because then you're, it's the starvation response and, you know, then you're not going to burn fat. 
<laughs> How did we survive, for God's sake? <laughs> Three million years without Gatorade telling us to drink, right? Or sports nutrition bars telling us to eat. This is not how it works. So trust trust that your body will keep you safe. So if you start your meal and you have like three grapes and you're like, I'm done, fine. You know, get back to it next time. Well, that, that next ball, right? The next tennis ball. It's going to come at you. You'll feel hungry eventually. Um, and it will take time. It'll feel weird and unsettled in the beginning. So just keep chasing that 80%. Don't chase 50%. Don't be like, oh my god, I'm gut dissolvingly starving all the time. No, that's not what you want, right? Surf it. Surf it. Play a little bit. Yeah, let 80% be your guide. I like the, the surfing yeah. concept. Yeah. I've been flow. We talk about it all the time. Let 80% your, be your guide and don't make any assumptions about eating less or eating more. Mm -hmm. You know, he said something like, this seems like, like way less than I used to eat, right? But, you know, I've eaten a ridiculous amount of food and I've eaten a very small amount of food. The body is so adaptable, it is ridiculous. Like the human machine that we have, wow, right? So we're going to work with it. Right? Flow with it rather than against it. Think like this is way less than I used to be eating and I don't even like is this fifty? Is it one fifty? What is this? So you're in the process, you're in the early process, you're like the baby taking steps. It's like, whoa, you might fall and bang your head on the table and like gonna catch you and help bring you back and you're still learning how to walk. So eighty percent trump. Uh, to protein and think about the level three of 101 grams of protein and maybe if we need to take it back right now to level two of let's try and get that serving. And most of us